This will show you the basics of using using Visual Studio to make an HTML page. This can be a plain HTML page in Visual Studio Professional 2012. I went to File, New File, and chose HTML. And it starts out with uh, your basic code for an HTML page. And notice at the bottom here I'm looking at the source view, but I can change that to a split view or a design view um, to do um, what you see is what you get uh, editing. When you do the split, which is a nice way to do it if you've got a large enough screen, you can add content to either the design view or the source view and then you see it show up in the other place. You can copy and paste it, uh, type manually, do whatever you want. Um, but notice as you make edits in the source view, the design view can get out of sync. It won't update live sometimes. And when that happens, you just click that bar and it'll update. Uh, I'm not expecting you to be able to do everything in design view. You're still going to have to tweak the HTML occasionally, so it is important to know HTML. Um, notice you can choose different doc types here, and these will correspond to your doc type at the top of your um, code view, source view, and for this course we're going to be using HTML5. There's a lot of tools that you can take advantage of, so you can save yourself having to manually type some things, such as inserting tables. This is quite tedious uh, to just type out, and very easy to do using Visual Studio with the table menu. You just got to be careful where your cursor is when you go to insert it. I inserted this in the middle of a P tag, so that's going to create some problems, so we'll fix that later. But in the meantime, uh, look at some of the other features. As you do manually type, if you do need to, to, to tweak some things, you get some benefits by using Visual Studio instead of a program like Notepad++, such as um, the IntelliSense, which is some tips that come up as you type to help you see what the uh, HTML tags are, and then they will auto-complete them as soon as you type an open tag. It'll automatically create the close tab and put your cursor in there. So that is a very nice feature. There are lots of other fun things in the menu to explore and in the toolbar. Um, you can check the accessibility, which we always um, need to make sure to pay attention to. I'll check for accessibility guidelines and show you errors that you can go fix. Uh, you can resize um, all these different windows. It can get it can get kind of unruly, so just pay attention to what your mouse pointer looks like when you put it in different areas, and you'll be able to to resize different sections. Um, you can quickly add bold um, and italics. It does some CSS for you. Uh, it'll just do it'll do some styling right in line, and it'll do some where it adds a section a style section to the top of the source can change the alignment. There might be some other toolbar items that pop up for you in different situations, but just leave your mouse still over all the menu options on the toolbar and you'll see, um, you could get a little tooltip explaining what they are. So here I've, uh, I can see that that text has a style associated with it. The table does. It's auto style one. You could then go in and tweak that, you could cut it and paste it, put it into an external CSS file, you can change the name of it, uh, and we didn't have to do anything for that to appear. Uh, we could set the title right there, make sure to do that on your work. And you can also, from within the file menu, save and view right in your browser. It'll launch by default in your uh, default browser, but you could always open it up in other browsers as well once you know the file location just to make sure it looks okay. A couple other exciting things that you can do um, relate to uh, cleaning up your code and finding errors in your code. Notice there's a squiggly line here under table. That's a, a green squiggly so that's just kind of a warning that uh, something's a little bit out of place so we can try to fix that. 
and take the table out of the P and now it's not giving us that squiggly line so we fix that error and now we got a green squiggly on this P because you just leave your mouse still over it it gives you what the error was. The error is that it was a closed tag with no associated open tag so I can fix that. Well, You can uncomment and comment out lines of code right there from the toolbar and you can fix indentation all in one uh, just with one click by that button right there which is nice. You see it made everything nice and uh, indented properly by clicking that button.